We're at the Sikh Gurdwara of Rochester Hills. This community is one of Religious Diversity Journey's faith community partners. My name is Wendy Miller Gamer. I am the director of Religious Diversity Journeys. With over 20 million members throughout the world, Sikhism is actually the world's fifth largest religion. Here in Michigan, the Sikh community continues to grow and thrive. There's about a dozen gurdwaras serving hundreds of families throughout the state. Today, Kennedy, a seventh grader at East Middle School, is going to get to explore the Sikh faith by asking questions of her peers, who she's going to meet soon, and some of the adults in the community. Hey Kennedy, how are you today? We're so excited to have you here at the Sikh Gurdwara. Are you excited? Yeah. Before we start, um, we're going to just walk over, take our shoes off, and cover our heads. Sound good? All right, let's go over this way. For a Sikh, the key like goal of life is to make and understand this idea that the divine force is within everything and within ourselves, and to reconnect with that divine force. And to do that, a Sikh uses the Guru. And the Guru for us is a sacred text. Guru actually literally means brings light to darkness. And the sacred text contains teachings that describe how a Sikh should live their life and how one should make these connections to the divine. This idea of the divine force being within everything and there only being one as well as using the Guru to help us connect with this one. These kind of make up the central tenets or beliefs of the Sikh way of life. Why do you think it's important for everyone, even non-Sikhs, to learn about these beliefs? So Sikhi is really based off of platform of um, good things, like kind, being kind, being respectful, doing service, um, being compassionate. These are just things that basically anybody can learn, anybody can do, and we think that it would really help build a better society. The way we focus on things like love and compassion and respect and kindness and service, it just makes our whole world better. There are many reasons that six wear their turban. The main reasons are, number one, it shows, it, it shows respect to Wai Guruji and it shows respect to other people. The second reason is that it shows a sense of royalty since we think the turban is a crown. And last but not least, the third reason is that our 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, he didn't want the six to hide in the shadows. He wanted us to be unique and stand out. For me, it's something that's very personal. I remember my history. I remember like those giants, that shoulders that I stand on, those that came before me, that stood for certain values, and those values I'm reminded of every time I tie every single layer of my turban. Do you always wear a turban or do you take it off at home? I wear it all the time. Um, when I'm in the shower, when I'm sleeping, you know, everyone has their own style and flair. Thank you, those are all the questions I had. Awesome, thank you. Seva literally translates to selfless service. You do it because you genuinely believe in the importance of humanity and sharing with others. What are some Seva activities you do with your family? So the awesome thing about Seva is it can be done anywhere and anytime. So something that I do with my family and with the Gurdwara as well is we do the Seva food truck, which we make home cooked meals and we deliver them to the homeless. Seva truly is being selfless and realizing that we're all in, in this together. Can you tell me a little bit about this space? So this is called our Gurdwara, which literally means um, the door to our Guru. Our Guru, the Guru Granth Sahib, is a central um, focus of any Gurdwara. We have it a little bit higher as a form of respect and then we have the congregation sitting on both sides. What does it look like to pray? 
Um, so basically when we're praying, we always have our heads covered and we're always sitting cross-legged like this. We're all sitting together on the ground as equals. We don't think that you can only pray being in one certain place. There's no restrictions really. How does worship make you feel? Um, for me personally, it makes me feel kind of centered and it keeps my mind calm and at peace. Whenever I'm going through um, like a challenging time in my life, when I'm worshiping, when I'm praying, I feel I do get a lot of guidance from the Guru Granth Sahib as well. Thank you guys so much for answering my questions. And I think this is a really special thing you do, so thank you. Thank you so much. I had so much fun and learned a lot of things. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.